Light of Hope TV, bringing hope, the anchor of our soul. Hello everyone. Good morning and win today. Yes, viewers all over the world, I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yes, brethren in the Lord, my name is Evangelist Nelson Ashomere, a mentee of Prophet T.B. Joshua of Blessed Memory. And like I told you previously, I had the privilege of being with Prophet T.B. Joshua for 12 years, where I learned at his feet and under his tutelage. Brethren in the Lord, during this my 12 years experience and stay in the synagogue of four nations under my mentor, I have the opportunity and the privilege to function in many capacities. Yes, viewers all over the world. And I told you that I want to, I'm going to highlight and expose the lies told by these BBC actors and actresses in this BBC produced and directed movie. Brethren in the Lord, I told you before that uh, during my stay, one of the departments I functioned I, I was the prayer warrior department. Yes, the prayer warrior department where Mr. Kewi was saying all sorts of scripts that was scripted to him to say, but unknown to him, they are people and living witness alive to confirm what he has said and to prove him wrong, to expose the lies in all the statements he has said. Here today, we have another member of the prayer world department that has come out to share his personal experience. You know, on Wednesday, I shared my personal experience of my experience in prayer world departments, proving and exposing the lies of uh, Mr. Akewi. Here is another member of our department, a prayer warrior like me in the prayer world department, coming out to share their experience of the prayer world department, our duty, our job description, our activities on the prayer mountain. Yeah, before we watch the video of my prayer warrior brothers, let's once again listen to what Mr. Akewi said in that BBC scripted, directed, and produced movie. Let's listen to what Mr. Akewi said. People think the prayer mountain is where to go and pray, but there is more to that. There is more to that. The 16 years I spent there, we are the prayer warrior, which is the powerhouse of the ministry. I happen to be the leader. It will give you different assignments. There was one day, TV Joshua came to the mountain. They caught one fish alive, very big. So in my present, TV Joshua caught his beer, caught part of the hair in his private part. He poured those things in the mouth of that fish. So we should take it back to the river and drop it. That was how they started multiplying. When they lay egg, they lay thousands of eggs. Yes, we have heard the statements of Mr. Akewi. Now, take a moment and listen to one of our colleagues in that prayer world department and let's listen to his experience and job role and description of our activities in the prayer mountain. Let's hear from him, Brother Tunji. Let's watch together. After I finish watching the video, we'll come back and talk on that. Thank you. We are all over the world. I greet you in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My name is Alatunji Apanishile. I was privileged to be one of the numerous disciples of student Prophet B. Joshua in blessed memory. And I was once a prayer warrior of the student Prophet B. Joshua. And I thank God for what God Almighty has used the student Prophet B. Joshua to do in my life. I thank God for everything because it imparted a lot to my life and become what I am today. And I thank God for that. The brother in question that I wanted to emphasize and talk about, Brother Baba Tunde Taiwo, which many people, many of you outside there, are known as Akewi. We are once a member of synagogue, 
I joined Snagot Church of Furniture in 1993 and he joined in 1994. When I joined, the interest I have for being a prayer warrior, I told Prophet that year. And the Prophet said, oh, he love it. Okay, you can join and I'll be part of those people that are praying at the prayer Monte. Our brother came as a somebody who needs helps then because uh, he was doing business. The business he was doing, the security seized the vehicle. And he came to church for mercy of God and favor of God. But one of these days, when the Prophet T.B. Joshua was preaching, and he preached the word, and the uh, brother turned into a prayer. And the Prophet said, wow, who is that brother that did that thing? They called him and said, this is the brother. Okay, I want to see him. And that is how he became a member of the synagogue and become a disciple. Later, in the year 1994, he joined us as a prayer warrior at the prayer Monday. And uh, concerning the prayer warrior that our brother Called about twenty Taiwo Akewi was complaining and was lamenting and was bitterly giving wrong picture to the people of the world. This is the assignment given to us by the prophet of God to pray for Emmanuel TV, pray for prophet, pray for viewers, and pray for Emmanuel TV partners all over the world and the Christians all over the world, include our family. But he was saying that Prophet TV Joshua was this was that I don't know where he got all those information. Because we, we go there together and there's no instruction that Prophet B.J. wanted to give to the prayer warrior then that we give to only one person. No, he will call like two or three people to join together. This is what we are going to do. You pray for mercy and you pray for favor and the safety of those that are coming and those that are going back to their various homes. And that was the assignment given to every one of us that we are doing every day, every week. But to my surprise, and he learned that he went to BBC and was telling them that the uh, Prophet B. Joshua was this, was that, there is some certain thing that they are doing and they pray. This same prayer motive that I'm talking about, this is where the Snuggle Church of Foundation started at the beginning, where the Prophet say, Oh, I'm in your midst today. Amen. Amen. In fact, I don't know where to start <laughs> by coming to your midst. In fact, uh, it's just to lay a foundation. Today, we start synagogue here. Amen. And this is the prayer. And it's up to today. People are still going there to pray. And they receive answer to their prayer. The numerous people that are going there today to pray. Is this prayer they are going there to do? And there's nothing hidden. There was an incident that happened. So we have branches in Nigeria here. He's normally one of those people that the prayer world that used to send evangelists that used to send there to go and monitor what is happening there. And he did something terrible. And they reported the case to Prophet. And the Prophet called him and they asked him questions and they video what he had done that day. They video it and they record it. And they told him that, my brother, I want you to be going home. Going home and be coming to church every Sunday. I want to be seeing you. And then suddenly he left. He didn't come to church again. He left the Snuggle Church of Foundation 2009. And then when he left, after some years, he called me one day. He said, brother, I wanted to speak to you. I said, ah, you want to speak to me? I said, ah, who is on the line? He said, so, so, person. Okay, how are you? How is everything? How was everything outside there? He said, he wants me to join him. To join him to do what? He said, don't you know that where you are in the darkness there? I said, which kind of darkness? I personally am not in darkness. I'm in the light. When his mother was sick, he brought the mother to the, to the Chitnago Church of Foundation for prayer. He see darkness that healed your mother that time, or your sister that time, or your first daughter that was sick. He see darkness that healed them. I personally am not in darkness. I'm in the light. We met at the synagogue as a disciple, as a co-worker, and then as a prayer warrior. You left on your own. So I'm not ready. I'm not in support of what to say. After some months, he see called me back again. And he was asking me that uh, he wanted me to join, join him. To join you to do what? He said to blaspheme. To blaspheme who? I cannot see light with my eyes and turn into darkness. It was a pity that the brother called Akewi can do such a thing. So we are all over the world. What the brother was saying is purely lie. Purely lie. Don't go about what he has said. The prayer mountain that he's talking about, the whole world, are willing to come there to pray. Up to today, people are going there to pray and go answer their prayer. And I'm here to let the world know that truly Prophet Joshua is a man sent by God. You don't want to know 
whether we come from this place or we come from this place, in moment we say we accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. It took us as if own blood brother and sister and son and doctor. We are all over the world. I want you to know that the brother in question, Baba Tunde Kaiwo Akewi, there's no truth about what he's saying. If you hear it from me, he knows. I know, he know. If, if you see this picture, the picture of brother that is talking, he will know that, uh, oh, finally, the truth about this matter are coming out. And through the brother that is speaking, you know that uh, I am not afraid of anything. But the brother in question, which we are together for years, I went there, 1993, we joined as a workers there. And I thank God, the year I spent there was a successful year for me. And I become what I am today. And I pray for the viewer all over the world. People that are watching me right now, the blessing of prayer will be upon your life and upon everything that has to do with you. Because we call that Monday a prayer Monday and was part of those people that are receiving blessing there before. But he changed and become a devil messenger, which I cannot be part of devil messenger. We are all over the world. The Bible says, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set of free. Don't let anything that this brother called Baba Tunde Akewi said have anything to do with your prayer to God Almighty. And may God Almighty answer your prayer accordingly in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, people of God, you have listened to Brother Tunji. Yes, it's one of us. It was one of us. We were together in the private department. You have heard his own experience. See, Mr. K was talking about something else going on in the prayer mountain. He was talking about um, fish, beards and fish, and something that is unfounded. Listen to what Brother Trunji has said. The Bible says, in the presence of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. Yes, we have seen the statements. You listen to my Wednesday message my experience as a, in the prayer world department and now another prayer world brother is coming out with his own experience more are coming more are coming like i told you the last time you don't need any ritual for the fish to produce a thousand eggs you don't need any ritual and now brother tunji is telling you that there's no place for ritual there's no place for any strange occurrence, or like Mr. K. we said, there is more to that. There is nothing more than prayer for blessings, for healing, for security, for the ministry, for Christians all over the world, for the church, for the prophet, for all the disciples, for all the members, for all the workers, for all the viewers, for all the partners and friends of the ministry all over the world, and for Christians in general, for the church in general. Nothing more. It's a place of prayer where we pray in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. Where we pray according to the scripture because that is what we do. Scriptural prayer. That is what goes on in the prayer mountain. According to my statement and that of Baratunji, able to convince you that there's nothing more to the prayer mountain you visit. It's a place of prayer where we commune with God in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus where we pray scriptural prayers. That is prayer that is backed up with the scripture. That is ensuring that our prayer and the prayer mountain aligns with God's word and intentions for our lives. It's the intention for the ministry, intention for every member, visitor, partner, friends and families of the ministry and also for the church in general we will pray not only for the ministry but also for ourselves our family our generation and we will pray for christians all over the world we will pray for the church in general so viewers all over the world the judgment is yours you have seen one witness you have seen another witness look at that compare make your judgment and then the Bible makes us to understand that we should make sure of all things and hold fast to that which is true. Hallelujah. Make sure of all things. Hold fast to that which is true. Yes, more witnesses are still coming forth. And as they come forth to speak, be sure that I will bring them to you. And the judge, you are the judge of everything. Thank you very much, viewers all over the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you for your time. I pray 
that the Lord give you insight and understanding and the spirit of discernment to discern truth from falsehoods. God bless you in a special way. Yes, bye-bye. See you again tomorrow where we'll be unveiling, itemizing, exposing the lies of these BBC actors and actresses in the BBC produced and directed movie. God bless you in a special way. Bye-bye. Peace. Shalom.